we're going to break this down into little sections and this will help us learn it more efficiently. And we're going to make sure that we overlap the sections to avoid hesitation between them once we put the whole piece together. So the first section. Ending on C. So our right hand. We're going to stay in this position, an octave above middle C, using C, D, E, F and G. hand we're going to be using three notes which is C, B and G. Make sure you can play both of these parts fluently before trying it hands together. So here we go, hands together nice and slowly. a few times so you can get used to the notes and build up your confidence. Now for section two, the first two bars of this are quite similar to the first, which is having a few extra notes and changing the ending as well. So we've got lots of Fs there, let's have a go at our right hand. Make sure you're counting really well. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And our left hand. Again, really similar to the beginning. So hands together once you can play the separate parts nice and confidently. So the next section, the left hand's quite fun here and the right hand's quite simple. Ending on a C in both hands. So the right hand, we're going to start on a D. Rest. 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 What we're going to do with our left hand here, when we get to the third bar, we're moving our thumb up to D and then moving it back to middle C for the next bar. So we're going to start on a B and we're always alternating with a G. So that's B and G, C and G, D and G, C and G, and B and G, ending on middle C. So hands together, D with the B, E with middle C, F with the D, and then So those last two bars will take a bit more practicing. So make sure you really know what your fingers are doing. And don't forget the rests as well in your right hand when you put it together. So that D with the B, and then rest. E with the C, rest. F with the D, rest, and then. Really take your time with that so that you can really get to know the notes. And just remember that alternating pattern in your left hands to keep you going. So for the next section. So our right hand moves a little bit here. So we go up to G like the beginning. And then we switch to finger four on the G. So we're just moving our hand from there to there. This is so that we can reach the A. And then F. 
E and then E again, but with finger three, so we're moving our hand back. And then we're adding a D sharp and up to E with finger four. After you've played the D sharp to E, make sure you then don't go to the B with your thumb. We want to squish our hand just a little bit so that we fall on the C. So one more time. So move our hand up. Move your hand down. And C with your thumb. So our left hand, now we're adding a B flat with finger two. And up to middle C. One more time. C, B flat, A, F, G, G, middle C. So learn these independent parts again nice and fluently and then you can put it together. Move your hand. Move your hand again. Up to D sharp. And landing on C. Now it's just for the ending. So in this, our right hand moves again up to there and back down, but our left hand has a lot more moving. We'll get to that in a minute. So for our right hand, like we did before, we're now changing to finger four on the G. And now we're switching back to three on the E to end. So our left hand, we're going to start with finger two on the B flat, and then we're going to tuck our thumb under to the A. And then three goes on the F. And then we move our thumb to the G, just next to it. Down an octave to the lower G. Ending on C. One more time. Thumb under. So hands together. Right hand goes up, left hand thumb goes under. Thumb goes to G in your left hand. Move to finger three in your right hand on the same note and down an octave to the lower G in your left hand. Ending on a C in both hands.